What's your unfair advantage? Think about it. What is your advantage over the loan officer sitting next to you or across the room? Is it rate? Is it product? Years of experience? A real unfair advantage is something that cannot be easily copied or bought by your competitors. Your unfair advantage is the skill you have that is your unique talent. Some unfair advantages that you may already have but might not think about as being an unfair advantage can be your passion, your experience, the community or market you're in, your intellect, and your knowledge. We work in a very competitive industry, and in a very competitive industry, you need to identify or establish your own unfair advantage if you want to create longevity and sustainability in this industry. Let me first tell you that in order for any of us here today, in order for us to have an unfair advantage in anything we do in life, it first starts with you, right up here. That's right, it's all in your head. It's not only the way you think, but more about your own perception of yourself as a mortgage professional. The number one reason mortgage professionals can't max out their capacity on a consistent basis is because they are too busy competing with every other loan officer in the room. You're a bunch of little fish that look the same, smell the same, sell the same product, same rate, same great service. But what's hurting you even more is that you are selling the same thing to the same audience, primarily realtors. You're out chasing down the purchase business. So, as you've heard many times, you're basically a little fish in a big pond. And then you come up with a great idea, a new marketing strategy, a new approach, and you become somewhat of a bigger fish in a smaller pond. Maybe you become the go-to down payment assistance guy. You become the mortgage gal that's great with reverse mortgages. Okay, cool. You start to stand out a little more. But is that enough? Is that sustainable? Maybe for a little bit until your competition says to your same realtor, oh yeah, I've got that loan program too. Being a bigger fish in a smaller pond may get you somewhere, but it's only temporary. Now this image might be a little cute, but it's not the game changer that you need. I want you to become a really big fish in a very big pond. So big that the little fish swim away rather than try to imitate you. In today's mortgage world, where product and price are not a defining factor, being a big fish in a little pond is not enough. So how familiar are you with creating your blue ocean strategy and how it applies to you as a mortgage professional? The blue ocean strategy is a simultaneous pursuit of differentiation opening up new markets and creating new demands. It's about creating and capturing uncontested market space, thereby making your competition totally irrelevant. It's based on the view that the mortgage market boundaries and structure are not a given, and you can reconstruct the current mortgage market by your actions and beliefs. Blue oceans are not defined by realtor referrals, nor are they defined by mortgage interest rates or home buyer cycles. Red ocean strategy is all about competition. Red oceans are basically the current and traditional mortgage markets. Marketing to realtors, your sphere of influence, and chasing the new home buyers. Red oceans are the known market space. Boundaries are defined, accepted, and the competitive rules of the game are already known. Here, mortgage professionals try to outperform and grab a greater share of existing demand, realtor referrals. You and your mortgage products become commodities, leading to a cutthroat or bloody competition, hence the term red oceans. Blue ocean strategy creates new demand. Blue oceans, in contrast, they denote all the new untapped industries, the unknown market space, untainted by competition, the divorce lending market. In blue oceans, demand is created rather than fought over. There is ample opportunity for growth that is both profitable and rapid. In blue oceans, competition is irrelevant because the rules of the game are waiting to be set. 
A blue ocean is an analogy to describe the wider, deeper potential to be found in unexplored market space. A blue ocean is vast, deep, and powerful in terms of profitable growth. The refinance craze will end soon, as it always does. What will be your strategy once it's over? Will you continue to swim in the red ocean, or will you be ahead of the game in already building your blue ocean and making your competition irrelevant? The divorce lending market can be your game changer. So how do you start to differentiate between the big pond versus your blue ocean? Remember earlier I said that the analogy for the big fish and the little pond was typically tied to a niche product like DPAs, renovation, reverse, etc.? Your blue ocean is not tied to product. It's tied to you and what you bring to the table. Think of it as your perception of value. Perceived customer value is a concept that points out specific benefits that a customer believes you bring to them directly through your relationship with them, as well as how they will benefit from doing business with you. Now there's a difference between perceived value and actual value. The actual value is a measure related to cost, whereas perceived value is what your client believes your services are worth. When you can apply your specialty knowledge to your mortgage business, you have a much higher perceived value than your competition. It's that perceived value that creates your relationships, your loyalty and success as the divorce lending expert in your market. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with the book, Think and Grow Rich. We've all heard about it and maybe you've even read it. If not, it's a great read. Anyway, in chapter five of his book, Napoleon Hill says that if you want to accumulate the level of success you desire, then you need specialty knowledge. Very few mortgage professionals understand the value of specialty knowledge both from a revenue perspective and from a business perspective. They believe they need to attract the generalized borrower, again, swimming with a pool of lookalike fish. Let me give you an example of a true game changer, a very deep and very wide blue ocean, the divorce lending market. First, I'm super excited to share with you that the Divorce Lending Association Certified Divorce Lending Professional Program was just recognized as the top divorce mortgage training program by Divorce Force. The divorce lending market is not about product. It's not about price. It's about knowledge, perceived value, and the ability to apply this knowledge to your various product portfolio. It's about being a subject matter expert in a very underserved market space. Unfortunately, divorce is not going to go away. It's not going to wait on the fence because rates changed. It's about being present with purpose and providing a higher level of service to a very targeted audience who needs your help, your knowledge, and your expertise. So what are the top benefits of building a blue ocean in the divorce lending market? You will receive a minimum of six closings per attorney per year. Referrals that actually close because these referrals actually need your services as a divorce lending professional. There's no competing lender, so you're not one of three cards handed out. And once you become the go-to expert with that attorney, you are forever their go-to expert. So you're not rate shopped, you don't get ghosted, it all ties back to your perceived value. You are ahead of the referral. Now picture that infamous funnel image, right? Where you put as many more prospects in and only a few fall out at the bottom. Well, flip the funnel upside down because you're now reversing tradition. My favorite benefit is this one. You have work-life balance and control your time because you're not working weekends or evenings. Well, maybe this is one of my top favorites too. You are now in a position to leverage your position as the divorce lending expert in your market. How, you ask? You now have what realtors want, divorce referrals. You have that golden ticket, but don't share with just anyone. You need to control that leverage and then pick and choose who you do and don't wanna work with. 
what's the value of just one divorce loan worth to you? Let's assume an average loan amount of $300,000 and say 125 bips in compensation. Just one divorce loan is worth $3,750. The average divorce attorney will refer you six new divorcing clients every year. That's over $22,000 in commission annually from just one attorney. What happens when you develop 10 strong attorney partnerships? That's $225,000 annually in commissions working with just 10 referral partners. You could easily increase if not double that without a lot of handholding and extra effort when you have the right approach and systems. Pack on the other divorce professionals, CDFAs, CFPs, DPAs, mediators, real estate referrals, and your mortgage business has now evolved into something pretty significant and something pretty awesome. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone abandon ship on the realtor referrals, although you certainly could. I know I did. But just imagine if your divorce lending practice became 60% of your overall business. You can easily build a sustainable divorce lending practice, replacing your current need to chase real estate referrals. You'd have less headaches, you'd work less hours, you'd have more loyalty, more respect, and more sustainability. The refinance craze will end soon, as it always does. What will be your strategy once it's over? Will you continue to swim in the red ocean or will you be ahead of the game and already building your blue ocean and making the competition irrelevant? If you're interested in building your blue ocean in the divorce lending market, please visit us at getcdlpcertified.com for additional information. You can get started immediately, schedule a call with us, or request additional information.